on the title, it's like branding a cow. They put on there buyback or salvage or rebuilt. It's printed on the title now. Okay, so why is that? Why is the title branded on this car? So we're gonna go through this stuff here. There's also some accident damage reported. So right, accident damage is also reported on this car. The car entered from Mexico. It's a Mexican made vehicle. The title was issued, so somebody bought the car in April of 16. Roughly 15, 16 days later, it had 895 miles on it. The car had a drivability issue. The car did not drive as the owner expected it to when they purchased a brand new car. That's all that means. At 1,800 miles, there was a maintenance inspection. At 4,100 miles, there was a maintenance inspection. At 7,700 miles, there was a maintenance inspection. That's a lot of main maintenance inspections for this car. And also right here, shifter cables adjusted, shifter interlock cable linkage adjusted, um, and also more drivability performance checked. 20,000 miles, maintenance inspection again, and drivability performance checked. So the car, between 20,000 miles, the car's been checked three times for drivability. So the car did not drive as the consumer expected the car to drive. Damage to the right rear, damage to the right side. We checked the paint, we verified that the paint was repainted on the right side, not repainted on the left side. 33,000 maintenance, and then we have another shift cable adjustment and a shift interlock cable adjustment again and a drivability performance checked again. This is the fourth time. 12 of 18, uh, maintenance check was done. Later in 12 of 18, the sunroof was checked. So there's a sunroof problem in January of 19. The headliner was removed and reinstalled. The sunroof frame was replaced and the sun visor was replaced. Also again, a drivability performance problem was happening. Something was happening to the car. We don't know exactly what yet. Seven of 19 loan or lien reported. There was a manufacturer buyback or lemon reported on nine of 19. Now what's happening with this car sale is the seller is selling the car to a buyer, just the typical average consumer. What I'm hearing on the phone is the seller is trying to confuse the sunroof for the reason for the buyback with the purchaser of the car. John, thank you very much for coming in. Sean was uh, going to buy a 2016 Volkswagen Golf uh, SE, SEL. I saw the car online on Auto Trader and um, it was noted down that it was a buyback due to just a sunroof leak. It didn't have all that information. I, I received all this information a day before I bought the car in. Uh, my girlfriend's family, they've been coming to this auto body shop for uh, a long time. So it's like trusted people. So I decided to bring the car in and then um, it only took you, what, 10 minutes to look at the car and then you gave me a call um, and basically gave me all the reasons you've kind of just said in order to change my mind. The, the, the reason listed in the ad yeah. was there was a roof leak. Yeah, yeah, which had been fixed. Which has been fixed. So that the roof leak doesn't sound, that sounds like, you know, I'm gonna buy a car, there was a roof leak, the roof leak was fixed, so why not get a discount on a car that had a roof leak? But really, when, when, when you dig deeper in here, you know, manufacturers don't buy back cars because there was a simple roof leak that was repaired. They buy back cars because like this EPC light, this is a, this is a huge uh, telltale into uh, the reason why they had to just buy the entire car back because of the drivability problems and the EPC light. But the roof leak may have caused problems within the electrical system that just aren't worth Sean purchasing the car for. The discount on the car was like... Yeah, I think it was just a, a couple of thousand off, which when you first look at it and you see all the other cars, that's probably what attracted me to it. Yeah, um, yeah you want a deal, everybody wants a deal. Exactly, yeah. yeah, so that's why I did take for a test drive and it, it 
it seemed okay, but as like I said, there's obviously deeper line problems. Yeah, and I didn't even test drive this car. I was just looking at, you know, can this car be reliable with a branded title, with, with this issue, with the paint that was on the right side of the car, that really turned out to be nothing. Um, it was just in a little fender bender or whatever, maybe it got scratched, the side of the car was painted. The car was unreliable because of this. So when you're looking at a car that was branded as a manufactured buyback, which is technically like a lemon car, look into the reason why it was a lemon car. What was the reason that the manufacturer bought it back? And it better be a really good reason. So with that said, what, what kind of car are you looking at now? Uh, Did you find one I, I haven't found one yet, no. But, uh, but yeah, I've still got a little bit of time. Uh, I still like the Volkswagen, so... Yeah. Um, but maybe looking more towards certified pre-owned now. When you get another car, bring it in, and we're going to do the same inspection summary. Make sure that it doesn't uh, have a buyback. And then we'll look at the car and make sure that it's dialed in. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming in, Sean. Yeah, cheers. Awesome.